Hi, I'm Scott Silveri, Chief of Police for the City of Thibodeau's Police Department. We welcome you to this edition of Chief's Corner. Today's segment is called Cop Talk, and what that is, we're going to introduce the viewers to specific language that we use in law enforcement profession. Sometimes it's informal jargon, sometimes it's very specific terminology. The term we're going to discuss today is, is community-oriented policing. This is a philosophy that engages individual police officers along with the community in a creative way to address calls for service and crimes and issues that adversely affect that community. It empowers the individual police officer to use his creativity and work along with the community in a partnership to resolve these issues. In today's segment of technology, the intelligence report, is a piece of equipment that we refer to as the MDT, or the Mobile Data Terminal. In essence, it's a laptop that's assigned to every patrol officer's car. It allows them to access records and write reports. And what it does more effectively is, it untethers the patrol officer from the squad room. Most importantly, it gets them out into the community and the neighborhoods and along the streets where they can be seen by the community and also by the criminals, and it serves as a, as a deterrent effect. Officer Leonard Furman with the Thibodeau Police Department. Been with the department approximately two years. Uh, I'm a patrolman, pretty much like what I do. I like helping the people of the city. The new chief, Chief Severi, implemented DDACS, which stands for Data Driven Approaches to Crime and Traffic Safety. Uh, what this does is it's basically documentation of everything the department does. All the information put on uh, crimereports.com which has a crime map which every officer is, has access to the crime maps. We're able to look at the crime maps and see exactly where all the crimes, inc incidents, uh, crashes, all that type of stuff that takes place. And we're able to concentrate our efforts in those areas, patrol more in those areas, be highly visible. Basically, the guys hanging out, just hanging mainly on the, in the areas of the corners or just hanging out in the streets. If they're standing in the streets, then we'll stop and make contact with them, uh, you know, talk to them a little bit. And we, we fill out field interrogation calls and we just turn that into detectives. Uh, in the case that something or uh, crime has occurred, detectives have someone that they can contact, being that they were in the area that the crime may have occurred. So. Um, other than that, we just patrol the area, looking for any type of little violations we can find. Uh, motor vehicle inspection, expired, uh, expired registration, seat belt violation, burnt brake lights, whatever it may be. And we stop them, make contact with them. The city has uh, implemented a new little thing with warning citations. Whereas if you have an equipment violation like a burnt brake light or headlight, officers stop you, write your warning citations, give you seven days to take care of it, bring the, the hard copy of the citation in, and uh, if the violation is taken care of, then the ticket goes away, you don't have to pay any fines on it. Patrolmen, we make a lot of minor traffic stops for license plate light, brake lights, or whatever. And it usually leads to bigger things. It just depends on the demeanor of the driver at the time. Uh, we use that to see uh, what's in plain view, if there's any drugs or open alcoholic containers, or uh, if the driver is extremely nervous and whatnot, it leads to more investigating. And sometimes it leads to, to drug arrest or uh, DWIs, whatever it may be. We'd like to thank you for tuning in to Chief's Corner, and we'll see you next time.